Hi guys, so if you wondered what happened to Libra from Facebook, it's basically that. Uh, as well as DM right now. So the history is this, in 2019, Facebook wanted to create Libra, the new cryptocurrency uh, that will be basically a stable coin that will, that will unite uh, the US, uh, Europe and the whole Western world basically. Uh, they had these amazing partners of like MasterCard, uh, Stripe, eBay, and a bunch of others, uh, I think over 20 companies in total. Uh, and the thing went basically over. Uh, most of those partners uh, stopped working with Facebook basically a couple of months just after announcing that they're collaborating, uh, for example, MasterCard and, and Stripe. Um, and then uh, there were like super hard opponents in the form of government regular regulators basically said like what you're doing you can't do this uh, this will be totally regulated to the ground and so on they were super opposing this idea of having the stable co coin run by facebook uh, well basically everyone back then was afraid that facebook will create this super huge monopoly. Uh, they were probably going to try to do it in some way uh, and having their own currency would be the you know the the, the pinnacle of, of of all that um, they didn't manage to do it and then they changed the name from libra to dm and with the attempt to actually build something around it uh, and yeah beginning of this year we get the message that all the assets of dm are actually being sold out right now uh, here you can see the article from the verge Basically, it's talking about the meta. So Facebook, like in the meantime, this is also a pretty interesting story. In the meantime, Facebook changed the name to meta, uh, wanting to showcase that um, the metaverse right now is the, the thing that they're going after, that it's the most important thing for them uh, is creating this metaverse where people can hang out. Basically, this kind of a dystopian 3D game, a second life kind of, but with Facebook connected to everything, you will pl we would be playing uh, on Oculus, of course, uh, or MetaQuest, as it's called right now, and so on. So they wanted to create this whole ecosystem, and they still want, but there, there are also some cut downs right now to the Meta itself and the, the whole goal of creating the Metaverse. Uh, so yeah, so Meta, DM, uh, they confirmed basically in January that uh, they're selling their assets for around uh, $200 million to Silvergate, a uh, crypto-focused bank, uh, and basically they're winding down their operation. Uh, so this is like another example of uh, failed attempts at building stablecoin or their own cryptocurrency. Uh, I believe it's super hard for a huge company like that to build a stablecoin because all the banks and all the governments will see that uh, as kind of a competition to what they're doing. Uh, and then, and they don't want to have that, basically. So that, that might be a problem. Uh, the whole article is like super short. I will link that. Uh, down below it's talking about the libra it's talking about the uh, dm uh, and basically the, how everything just burned down to the ground uh, so yeah it's interesting to see what will come next from facebook because uh, mark zuckerberg is definitely thinking hard about uh, making meta formerly facebook into this metaverse first company creating a world where millions of people or even billions of people can interact with each other in a better way, way than they do right now on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, I think it's possible to a certain extent. I think it's possible to build something meaningful here. Uh, the only problem is that how many, like how, how to connect all the dots together because I think like Facebook has right now all the cap capabilities together with like Oculus, AI research domain, then uh, you have these people going after uh, after the cryptocurrency so they are thinking about the great stuff it's it's a matter of connecting all the dots together and creating really this unique world that people want to interact with uh, and want to be in uh, so yeah let's see how it goes uh, really interesting also aspect of this story for, from my perspective is the the rise of the new blockchain so for example i was talking about the aptos blockchain uh, the one in the previous uh, in the previous video you can you can search that on my youtube channel uh, Aptos blockchain is built with the move, uh, move language, move for the smart contracts. Um, and it's really interesting because move was created at Libra, at DM. Uh, and another blockchain that I want to talk about is Sui, 
uh, which is another blockchain coming from the developers which were formerly in Meta working on uh, DM Libra and creating this uh, move language for smart contracts. So we probably are going to see a bunch of individual uh, developers that are creating web free startups uh, that are coming out of Meta. And I think this is really cool because Web3 in general needs super talented people that, that are, know how to launch their own companies, how to launch startups and can do business in Web3. Uh, we really need that for the massive adoption of crypto in general. So I think that's very positive, that's very optimistic and we'll see what will come out of that. Definitely this part of like having former uh, Meta employee, uh, employees working on new cool stuff on their own startup, startup. this is a cool thing about uh, this whole wind down. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.